Hi friends, today's topic is WHO classification of night blindness. This night blindness is indicated with first letter X. Then after, according to blindness progression, it is classified as first night blindness. It is XN and the prevalence is asked in the NEET PG. The prevalence of night blindness is 1%. 1%. And all the night blindness, the prevalence rate is less than 1. So, and most commonly asked in the PG exam percentage in night blindness then after bitter spot and then after corneal ulceration so the bitter spot the prevalence is 0.5% then corneal ulceration that means keratomalacia affecting less than one third of the corneal surface it is 0.1 percent then after the corneal scar this is the corneal scar due to gerophthalmia it is 0.05 this percentage are asked in the neat PG question and um, many times repeated in the neat PG is night blindness prevalence and uh, what is how it is represented so let us start about that XN indicate the night blindness while that of X1A is the conjectival gyrosis and x1b is the bitot spot x2 is the corneal gyrosis and x3a it is the corneal ulceration keratomalacia affecting less than one third of the corneal surface next one is the X3B. X3A is the corneal ulceration that means keratomalacia which affect less than one third of the corneal surface. And X3B is the corneal ulceration, both are the corneal ulceration, but here it is more than one third of the corneal surface. And corneal scar due to gerophthalmia, it is the XS and gerophthalmic fundus. It is the XF. Okay, so then you have to uh, written such type of presentation that uh, what indicate the X3A, X3B, XF, X1A, X1B. Then after WHO blindness and the vision impairment. According to WHO, in the latest ICD-11, not ICD-10, in ICD-11 2018, the vision impairment into the two group, distance vision, distant vision impairment and the near vision impair, impairment. What is the distant vision impairment? According to WHO criteria, the mild uh, distant uh, vision impairment, when the distant equity version then 6 by 12 it is mild distant vision impairment then what is the moderate moderate when the distant vision equity version then 6 by 18 and then after the severe severe when the distant vision impairment version then 6 by 60 and what is the blindness the blindness then uh, the distant vision impairment when it is worsened then 
3 by 60. It is the WHO criteria and the, what is the near vision impairment. Then after the near vision impairment, the near visual equity worsened than N6 or N8 at 40 cm with existing correction. It is the near vision impairment, the latest ICD-11 2018 criteria. So you have to return this such criteria due to latest ICD-11, not ICD-10. And I will show you the WHO uh, showing the picture of the corneal gyrosis and so uh, for the image based question in the NIT PG. This picture showing you the conjectival gyrosis. You saw here gyrotic line look like drying of conjectiva next one is next one is bitorta spot this is bitorta spot this looks like a salt or Put it here it is bitorta spot this is corneal gyrosis this one is conjectable gyrosis sorry corneal gyrosis this is this one is looking outer part is dry and some part of the conjectiva also it is due to the glandular atrophy and with uh, conjectival glands are also atrophied that's why it can't uh, gives a uh, uh, tear film so it becomes dry this one is this figure is here ulceration okay next one is here corneal ulceration tax please okay so this figure is corneal ulceration x3a this one is corneal ulceration with infection this one picture showing the keratomalacia here you saw sound is keratomalacia okay thanks for watching my video